and welcome before we start the session I'd like to just quickly mention that I have now for purchase four Reiki infused images that are meant to work as a super affordable and super easy way to heal with Reiki through four weeks it's only $15 and I also have four accompanying videos that work with the same intentions to go even deeper and the links for this are down below thank you so much super close-up energy work and we're going to do an energy healing session with Reiki and we're going to focus on lower body back pain so it's going to be very soothing relaxing cozy cozy kind of vibes and we're going to just focus on relieving any tension any inflammation any pain any stagnancy and whatever is the core of that pain coming up especially for those of you who are uh, living with chronic pain and chronic back pain or lower back pain so my name is Sunna I'm an Icelandic energy healer and musician composer singer songwriter and I do these videos to um, just contribute to your life, to your body, to your being, hopefully um, bring more consciousness and healing and relaxation to your day, wherever you are. I work a lot with um, Reiki and other energy healing methods and know that um, wherever you are, this this uh, session works through time and space through the screen and it's just as effective as if you were chilling with me here in the same room as i am in so i'm really glad that you're here that you're stopping by and that you clicked on this video and i really hope that this uh, helps you in any way and that it's a great like addition to whatever you're doing for yourself healing for your self-care and welcome so we're just starting out with this these nutshells as a just a, a trigger for you to get into relaxation getting to the mood getting ready to receive and um, find a spot where you can just totally let go totally um, receive and <laughs> and be like uninterrupted and be cozy you can let a candle or let an incense or or even if you want you can put um, some gentle music on I usually do not put any music in the background of my videos but you um, feel free to do so if that kind of adds to the mood so just get really comfy and start getting present with your body with where you are at at this moment 
energetically, emotionally, mentally. Just start being really present with you right here, right now. Nothing else is important. You are the most important thing right now. You are the most important choice right now. You are the priority. Just gonna slowly and very gently invite Ricky to join us. Invite Ricky to flow. Chukure, chukure, chukure. To you, to me, to your space, to my space, and everyone else's around who is willing to receive it. If you have pets around, if you have kids, if you have roommates, very often people around um, just subconsciously accept the healing if they are like in the next room or something chokure 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 reiki flow reiki flow have to be in like chronic pain and um, chronic back pain to be able to receive from this video if you also if you have are experiencing pain in the body you're experiencing chronic pain especially but it's not back pain that's fine too just put that intention in uh, the video right now that you'd like Ricky to work on the origins of blank pain <laughs> if it's um i'm going to do another video on like migraines but you can also put that in now like i guess that reiki focuses on my migraines um sh uh, brings and i'm gonna just phrase that now i ask that reiki works with whatever pain is going on with those who are watching um i ask that 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 uh, Reiki focuses also on the origins of where it is coming from focuses on why it keeps coming up again and again and again so pushes it up, pushes it up to the surface so we can finally let go of it once and for all we ask that Reiki provides deep, 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 deep relaxation so that your body is in the state of being where it can truly start to heal because our bodies are amazing healers they're amazing at healing their own systems but if we have constant stress if we don't provide the body the, the state and the space and the rest and the right environment if we don't provide our bodies the um if we don't meet the needs of our bodies then the it, the body cannot do their job fully so 
we ask that Reiki invites you to that space so the body can start to heal and what would it take for you to choose more that would meet the needs of your body is there anything that comes to mind right now that you're like oh okay maybe um i could do this less i could um hustle less i could work a little less or i could you know take a bath every night with some salts or with some essential oils or i could actually allow myself the gift of receiving you know more energy work or massages or or acupuncture or something like that what is it for you so wherever you are know that you are held and Reiki is a gift that um, can assist you wherever you are in the world whatever you're going through so state your intention if you would like it to assist with something else, something different or in addition to what we're doing right here Going to burn some going to burn some Palo Santo. Our sacred space here around me, your sacred space around you, through space and time. Seiki, 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 seiki.
has Reiki to go as deep as is required to heal the origins of this so this does not have to keep coming up again and again and again heal the origins of any physical pain especially especially lower back pain Ask Seheki, the symbol, the symbol Seheki to fill up all of your molecules around your lower back and all of your body to shift each and every cell, each and every molecule for ultimate shift, ultimate change. To bring up to the surface anything that we've been hiding away. are you hiding behind you? What part of you are you actually hiding in your back? Because we often put our secrets about our power, our true like talents of who we truly came here to step into. If we're hiding that, we often put that into our backs. Hide it away somewhere in in the uh, back part of our bodies so what are you hiding away? what will it take for you to be willing to show to the world what you have to offer? what you have had all this time but have possibly been told that you know that that's so weird or like you know, that doesn't fit in, or you're worried just to be judged, you're worried to not belong, you're worried that it's not okay to be like you are because you are so undefinable and it's okay and actually celebrate it that you cannot define it because how are we supposed to create and invite in the new world if it's already definable the more undefinable that you are the more it's a um, a sign for lack of a better word <laughs> that you are a part of the, the the new world the new the new earth like people are often talking about it allow yourself to be undefinable even though it's uncomfortable with the people who desperately need everything to be definable so what will it take to be willing to be courageous to be willing to be vulnerable to actually just dive into the ocean of uncertainty and of this space that I know is can be quite scary and I know that feeling well of like hey will I just be alone there is there gonna be anyone who understands me or will see me so know that it's so normal that all these things are coming up and all these things are making you hide it's so understandable and normal but is it really worth it? is it really worth it to just keep hiding? 
or should we just be should we be vulnerable together I'm gonna open up some essential oils that are um, that I have with me. I didn't take a lot with me to the states, but I took the ones that I use the most, which are, um, for example, peppermint and lavender. And I actually found out that they're both very anti-inflammatory. So if you are experiencing tension, I like stubborn tension then these are good, but there are so many oils that could help you way more than these so if you're gonna go and start to incorporate them, then I just suggest that you do your research on that but these are really good, like peppermint is great to soothe and the menthol gives you like that freshness and cooling effect which is which can be really good for the muscles and sore joints the lavender is just also super relaxing and antibacterial as well, but that's not very relevant right now. So I'm gonna open up the peppermint first. I'm gonna just gently kind of rub it into your energy body. are all lathered up. Gently press it into your aura. If you have those around, you can put them now, like a few drops and put it on those sore, um, those sore areas that need some relief, especially if you have pain from tension. And go around your body, go down and behind. And to me, peppermint is very relaxing and soothing. And for many, it's too. Um, the menthol is too, like, m gives you too much, like, energy. To me, that's never been a problem, so... Some people don't like to use it before bed, or to go into deep relaxation because of that, but... You know, we're all different, so... We're gonna... Put intention into the... Into the oils, to just contribute their energy into this session in any way possible and especially you can use them to clear your energy field more and just kind of shift those energies that we're holding on to that are not ours for example and we can quickly just acknowledge that remember that there are so many energies that is not yours so many thoughts feelings emotions that you're holding on to that do not belong to you. Just acknowledging it can often shift it. But we can also just ask it to go home. <laughs> so everything that is not yours right now in your field, let's return it all to center on three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Pull it all out as well. 
anything that is left that is lingering few drops of the left there Gently press it into your energy body, energy field. It's deeply relaxing oil, the deeply relaxing herb, the deeply relaxing flower that lavender is. It's so beautiful to see it growing everywhere around here, where I'm staying now. And I've, I don't think I've ever seen it in real life <laughs> because. Or never noticed it, you know, but at least it doesn't grow outside in, in Iceland. <laughs> so I actually have it. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I have it in a vase just inside. my tiny pumpkins because it is Halloween season so gently pressing the lavender oil into your field I'm gonna go around your body go down and behind as well
what action can you take as well to start meeting your body's needs? What habits, what dynamics do you have with your body that could maybe not be what is best for your body? We need to listen and honor uh, your body's needs. And they can be so different from the next person. There are so many things we're hearing in mainstream media about, you know, what is the right diet or what is the right way to exercise or how many times you should be exercising or whatever. Remember that that is not the truth. The only truth is what is true for you. And only you can know that. some clearing with the selenite wand so wand I've had in a long time I bought a new one that is in Iceland it's like chunkier and bigger but this one has served me well and is lightweight and easier to travel with so I'm just going to clear anything out of your mental space super purifying selenite wand as well. I'm going to spend a little time also with the wand on your uh, lower back. So I will disappear for a bit. for stopping by again thank you for showing up for you for receiving and I'd love to hear from you if you like and comment how is it for you how have these videos been for you and did you notice anything shift thank you again so much love to all of you until next time